Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up your NVIDIA Shield controller, the game controller, to your Windows machine so you can use it on the PCSX2 emulator to play PlayStation 2 games. So, let me show you the controller right now. Should be seeing the NVIDIA controller. You can use this one, which has this sort of polygon design on it, or you can use the older, more chunkier one. No, the process is exactly the same. Okay, so there's one of two ways that you can connect it. Either using a micro USB cable, and they just plug and play, or using Bluetooth, and that is literally, I would say wireless and play, because obviously you don't plug it in, but there's no specific drivers that you have to install. So, But let me show you both methods. So to make sure that it's detected, it, if you go to your setup USB game controller section, plug this in so just right here like so and as you can see it's appeared there as xbox 364 windows that's great that's what we want if it initially appears as nvidia something then disappears and then reappears as this that's fine that's happened to me before as well so this is basically what you want and now you know you can see uh, it's not detecting in here strange Actually, actually, you know what? I've had this issue before. It works in PCSX2, it's just it doesn't work on it, doesn't detect in the game settings for some reason. So, that's method one that you can use to connect it. And then you can skip to the part in this video where I map the controls on PCSX2, and or you can watch me connect it via Bluetooth. So, disconnect this. You want to go into your Bluetooth settings, so Bluetooth settings. You can either A, connect it from here. I'm going to do it through the devices and printers, just because if you're on an older version of Windows, you won't have this interface, but you'll have the devices and printers interface. Put this into sync mode by keeping this button pressed for about three seconds, and this LED will start flashing blue. There we go, as you can see. That's in sync mode now. So if we go to add a device, you'll appear in here. NVIDIA controller, click next. And it's just going to install some stuff in the background, but that's fine. It's nothing specifically that we have to download and install. So that is all good. Shouldn't take long at all. Just looking at the controller. <laughs> okay, that's, you know, that is all done now. So as you can see, it appears right there. So I'm going to go off that, go off that, and if I go back to the game controller menu, it's right there. So that just confirmed that it's all set up, and we want it as a 360 controller. Now, we can open up PCSX2. If you had PCSX2 already open when you connected it, wired or wireless, just close it down and reopen it because it may or may not detect the controller. About that issue, and that's not an NVIDIA controller issue, that's a gen just a generic input issue that I actually see in a lot of emulators. Okay, so go to Config, Controllers, Plugin Settings, and go to your, your input will be here, your device. And you go to pad one, and you, you might already have some you know, mappings here, either you've done something before or some default stuff. Unless you want to keep them, just click clear all. And again, you can map it for pad two as well. Okay, so what you want to do, just start mapping everything. So square, triang triangle, X, circle. And now this one won't actually work. That doesn't work, but that works, so we can use that as start. This one works, so we can use this one as select. And I'm gonna use do the shoulder buttons, R1, R2. I'm gonna do R3, and up, left, right, and down, with the, yeah, that's quite, oh, with the right hand long stick and uh, the D-pad. Yeah, that's an awkward one hand, but here we go left right and down okay so now let's do the left shoulder buttons l1 l2 now l3 which is just the left and long stick clicked in up left right and down okay so I'll close that and we're all good to go so i'm going to apply you can mess around with the sensitivity and dead zone that's the beauty of using something like this emulator Go to OK, and I'm going to test the game out now. So 
So we got Tekken 4 selected. Go to fast boot. Maximize it. So that little start and select thing that skips and goes to the menu, that is only for Tekken. So that's not other games. And I'm going to click A. I've turned the volume down, so that's why you're not hearing anything. I'm going to go to random. Ooh, Kazuya. I think I've did play this Kazuya in these video tutorials I've been doing. Open this up. If you're seeing lines on the screen, you know, on my PCSX2 screen, just been messing around with some shader stuff. I did it a while ago, still haven't fixed it. So, you know, that it's not related to the controller. So, let me show you this working. As you can see, it is working. This game does not support analog sticks, but you know, we've set that up, up and I can confirm that it does work. You know, the games that do support analog sticks. So, let me beat him. Ooh, pause on it. Oh, I can't get a perfect no. He deserves this. Who am I fighting next? Ooh, is that Murdoch? Is that Murdoch? Yeah, Mar Marduk. Marduk, not Murdoch. I've been watching <laughs> the loudest voice, Rupert Murdoch, in there. Okay, so let's go back and I'll click escape to pause the game. So yeah, that is how you connect up a NVIDIA Shield game controller. I know this is a very, very niche connection method. Uh, probably not many people will want to do it, but I wanted to create it for those people that are interested in it. Because, you know, honestly, this game controller, I'm not a big fan of the first, you know, generation one, but this one, it's, it's a comfortable controller. It's, it's overall a well-made controller, considering it's not a main game console. So yeah, before, before I create the video, if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video